Karma Muni yes. from Kilkenny yes. a 360-degree <laughs> uh, artist, sculptor, painter, glass workers, you know, you've done quite a bit. Now, you, your subjects are very varied from mystical island, uh, Celtic island, hazy, mystical representation of landscapes and things, to very vibrant colors when you went to Sicily especially, or Tuscany, to paint in a way that you did not paint before, correct? Correct. So tell me all this progression, how did you come to go to Italy in the first place? What attracted you? Did you go to Tuscany first and then Sicily or vice versa? Uh, I went to Tuscany first on a holiday. Right. And it was the end of the season for sunflowers, fields yes. of sunflowers, and the end of the season. And it was interesting to see some of them flourishing and some of them dying. Yeah. Going. They were beautiful. Yes. I have a, a painting of the dead sunflowers. Yeah, right. uh, and I just got caught up in that and the olive trees, the shapes of the olive trees. Mm -hmm. They were lovely. So that was just yeah, not a decision. Day. I just painted where I was. I don't always paint where I, where I am. If it's too pretty, I, I don't do it. I never painted in Venice. Oh. Never. The actual uh, city did not attract you. It did, place. it did. But the people who were painting, the street painters, were way better than what I could do. <laughs> they were very <laughs> modest, I would say. Now, and you couldn't, you couldn't interpret uh, Venice in your own, well you could, yes, in your sure. own way. But you'd have to, if you're going to paint a particular place, you have to give the sense of it, or yeah, more than sure, the sense sure. of it. And possibly live there and <coughs> yeah. mix with, well, I've been there with the locals lot, and think. get the feel of the, the, the whole... Yeah, I would have the feel of it if I wanted to paint it, but somehow I don't want to. Yeah, right. And uh, tell me something. You painted here, you did work on the west of Ireland especially, then you went to Tuscany, then you went to Sicily, then you were attracted by Murano glass. Now, let's talk about Sicily and your paintings of Mount Etna, for example. What was the big attraction? Was it something which came to you just on the spare of the moment, like a whole, but there was uh, some thinking behind it? Yeah, it was, but it was a huge challenge. No. Oh. I mean, I think I must have been a bit crazy when I to paint a volcano and the rough terrain and trying to get right, up that mountain right, a bit. And right. Like everything was difficult, everything. Mm -hmm. But then it was fascinating. Mm -hmm. And it, it has so many different moves. The reason I stayed <coughs> with Mount Ethan so long and didn't go to paint other volcanoes was because it's, it has seasons. Mm. Yes. You know? Yes, yes, yes. In, say, a lot of volcanoes, it, it's just a fire, it's just an explosion. They're all different. But in Sicily, you've winter, you've summer, you've light, you've dark, you've the moods of a volcano. Oh, sure. Volcanoes yeah. are supposed to have as many moods as people. Yeah, That's sure. serious. Yeah. Well, it has been moody, all right, <laughs> from time to time. I know, I know. Uh, it, it, but it, it is it's lovely, and you have... The seasons make a difference. I painted in Lanzarote before I went to Etna, which was a very interesting place with the big, ugly craters. Mm -hmm. and, um, it's a volcanic area. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's it? yes, it's, it's dormant, yes. but um, it's not extinct. I think a volcano has to be inactive for about three or four hundred years before oh, it's yeah. extinct. Yeah. But um, there what attracted me was the, it was winter when I was there, and the, it was dark, and the landscape was dark, and the black and all that. And then, if you're dealing with colour perspective, you're cold colours <coughs> are back there, and your w warm colours come towards you, yeah. and that's what gives you the three-dimensional perspective. Exactly. Yeah. But in these craters, the warm colours were in the crater itself, right. which was back. Yeah. The saturated colours like blues, the yellows, the oh, right. reds, yes. 
so it was a reversal of it. So you had to mm. you had to work hard you to work get hard. any perspective on of that. Of course, yes. And that made that very interesting. And tell me about your Murano glass. Well, Murano was, <coughs> I think, a case of fools rushing in. Yeah. <laughs> it was an invitation to go there. I didn't decide yes. I'm going to go on that glass. Um, and I didn't know anything about glass. My son made a lot of glass, stained glass yes. designer and that. But that's not what they do in Murano, not yes. in the art firms. Yes. So, um, uh, yes, in Europe, Europe, somebody in Europe decided, in the Parliament, decided that they would invite an artist from each of the then European countries mm -hmm. to a foundation in Murano. Yeah. And I was invited from Ireland. Oh, very good. So I went along and <coughs> got the letter. You get the letters inviting you to exhibitions and that. But mm -hmm. this one, I thought, yeah, that'd be nice. I was never in Venice. Mm -hmm. But I didn't think, didn't think it through, you know. It was right. <laughs> a nice place to go. So you're having an exhibition now uh, at, in the Italian Institute of Culture uh, on the 28th of this month. Yes. So how many works will you exhibit there? Probably... <coughs> There's somebody hanging the exhibition for me. I think he said it depends on the size. Yeah, the sure. big ones you saw down there, you know, you yes, wouldn't put yes. too many of those sure. together. I would say probably 20. There are two big rooms there, mm -hmm. as you know. Yeah. And it's a very nice invitation mm -hmm. from. Well, it's a really central place and yeah. really well, a very lot nice of followers. To be invited. And, yes. Yeah, absolutely. And they have staged a lot of exhibitions there. They keep doing it, you know, yes. of all sorts. So. Uh, this is uh, one of your latest uh, place of uh, yeah, exhibiting your work. Yeah, I had exhibition. Work, I had but you have exhibition. I read your career. You know about your career. You exhibited all over, well in very good places, even Japan. Yes. Yeah. Uh, how Hong did Kong. they go there? I didn't go to Japan. Um, that was a traveling exhibition. Oh. And it, it came. Yes. It started in Japan. Yeah and then moved, I think, certainly to here, and London, and I don't know what other place, there was another place, but I've forgotten, that was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. But, um, and that was very interesting too, and um, then subsequent to that I had a big exhibition in Hong Kong, mm. and I did go there, and that was... How many years ago? About 12. 12 years ago. Yeah. Was it successful? It was. Very. very good. You were pleased. You're never pleased. You're just relieved. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen. I, I, when I, you're I, waking up in a city where you're having an exhibition that evening, you don't know anybody. Absolutely. You, you really <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I, as an Italian and as a Sicilian, I feel quite interested now. I, in, are, uh, you, are you Sicily? Yes. Oh, lovely. Yes. You know all my little hide holes then? Yes. All my little places. <laughs> well, uh, I appreciate the fact that you have actually uh, painted our big volcano there. Uh, but in any case, uh, I wish you the best of luck in the Thank Institute. you so much. Okay. Thank you so much. And it's lovely to paint in Sicily.